Alrighty, let's get into shopping my stash. Before you are the items that I use October, November, December, and now two weeks into January. Yeah, I didn't change up much. I had enough here that I was content, plus I was busy in December, and I didn't even use any of the shadows I bought specifically for the holidays. So, except for the IT Cosmetics, maybe. So let's um, see, I did use this. I did use it around the holidays and I do like it and I did a review on this so if you want to see that review um, you'll find it down below I'll link it so I did use that I did use the sunset skies a little not much it just wasn't reached for and I don't know why it is a beautiful palette but I didn't reach for it like I thought I would um, the born to run I did a couple of looks with it I really went into those blues there. They are beautiful. I love them with brown eyes. And I think I did go into some of these transitional colors some, but not as much love as I thought I would give it. And this poor baby, the Nomad Berlin Underground, I love the co color concept here. I think these are good shadows, but I, I just didn't get into it much after October. So, um, I'll put, return it to my stash. The X's and O's is what I'm wearing today. I did not wear that very much. For the first time today, I got into Rookie, Fortunate, and um, I think I got into Reckless. So yeah, I, I don't know. I just got stuck. And what did I get stuck with? A palette that I thought I didn't like, that I thought I regretted buying. Um, I bought it for a trip to Utah and for Nordstrom on their anniversary sale. I got to Utah with this palette and I thought, what did I bring this for? I, this is so boring. So I was in Nordstrom and I thought, when I was looking at it there, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna return that palette. I was even wearing it that day and I was thinking, I'm gonna return it. But no, Lord and behold, I um, continued to use it and I fell in love with it. I just couldn't get out of this shade over, how do I have it turned here? This shade over here, I just fell in love with as, as a transition shade. And I deepened my, or oh, I, I, I lined my eyes with this and I deepened the corners with this. I went into this quite a bit. I did use the blushes quite a bit. I call this one a highlighter on me and this one a blush. So I love it. This is the Warm Palette Eye and Face by MAC. And it is a true and true and lo well loved palette. So that's going to stay in there. I did use the uh, Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter. I did never, I did uh, only use the powdered side. I never used or broke into the cream side. So I'm gonna leave it that way and I'm gonna return that to my stash. I did not use the Too Faced Hot Buttered Rum. Uh, I did review this palette a little bit, so that's back in my older videos. I did not touch the Believe Beauty Get Glowing Highlight and Contour Palette in Medium Deep. That's going back. Poor Huda Beauty didn't get touched either. These two highlighters and blushes by Lip Bar were used sparingly. This Prime Beauty <clears throat> bronzer in Bronzeville was used because it's pretty neutral and it's not too shimmery, although it looks a little shimmery in the palette. You put it on, it's a nice chocolatey color that I, I liked, so I used that. So um, The mascara here, this is the Their Real by Benefit, is drying out on me, so it go, is going in to be decluttered in the trash. I used that, and I used this one by Urban Decay. It's the Troublemaker Mascara. Uh, the wand is pretty thick on this. I didn't really care for the wand on this one, and it, it must be a sample size or deluxe size. So it's drying out, and I'm happy about that. So it will be decluttered. The Capricorn Wet n Wild Lip Gloss, I did not use too much of that. I think I did use it as a topper when I did use it. And the, um, Fenty Beauty here. I use this some, and I'm gonna leave this in. This is the um, un, 
cupped, so I'm gonna leave that there. I'm going to leave in the L'Oreal 850 Brazil Nut. It is a neutral. I'm gonna leave that in. I am going to leave in my Smashbox 24 hour primer for my eyes. And I'm gonna leave in this uh, NYX Lip Liner Crayon in Prune. So I'm gonna leave that in. And I had in here the Marc Jacobs pencil and a uh, Believe Beauty Long Lasting Eyeliner in Brown. Um, I'm gonna leave, leave them both because they're neutrals. So I already, this is a lip liner. Yeah, this is the prune one and this one is the MAC. This is a Bordeaux line eye pencil. I'm gonna leave that there. These are staples. This um, e.l.f. Brow pencil I'm going to leave in because this Milani pencil in dark brown is just about done. So, and I'm going to use the La Maquillage Black uh, Mascara and I'm going to keep in also these two CoverGirl and the one other Smashbox Eyelash Primers. I'm going to use those. I'm leaving in the Laura Geller Speckle Treatment Mattifying uh, spackle primer because I can use this in the winter or colder months where I, whereas I cannot when it's warm and these two the wet n wild photo focus matte spray and the uh, Ulta beauty 50 broad spectrum um, matte finishing spray I did not really use much of but they're both pretty much empty so I'm gonna leave those there these this is the prime beauty Diamond Princess um, eyeshadow and I just used it in the corners and I'm going to take that out. So there you have it. That's what I use for <laughs> those few months and now we're going to add in the products for January. So I am going to add a palette because it has some color. The Royal Affairs by BH Cosmetics. I think this will be fun. I am looking forward to using high tea. And I'm looking forward to using, uh, what's another one here? I think it's Lord. And I'm looking forward to using Honor. And this crown color is beautiful. This is outside my comfort zone, but that is beautiful. Let's swipe that one again. That's something I have never put on my eyelids. Thorn here is a little light and may look a little, ooh, no. Can you see that? That's kind of like a, even though it looks blue, it comes out almost like a lilac. So this will be interesting. I'm looking forward to this palette. So that's for January, shop my stash. And also for January, shop my stash, I am pulling two blushes. I'm pulling the Becca Nightingale, and I've had this in my shop my stash before. I think it's a, a good uh, blush that you can use most days and for when I want to go out, and definitely for when I want to go out, the Lancome. This is the Monochromatic Hope Couture Blush. It can be used several ways, as an eyeshadow, shadow, as a blush, and as on your lips if you want to. So I'm looking forward to that. It's beautiful, isn't it? And what else am I pulling for this month? I think I'm pulling some lippies. I'm pulling the NYX Butter Gloss that was in my Advent uh, lippy series and it's in tiramisu i'm pulling another one of those lippies and it is a uh, praline and it's a butter gloss i am pulling a lancome lipstick that i pulled before this one is in sugared maple i pulled this um plenty of times before but i i like it so i'm going to use that this month i want to revisit that i'm pulling two mac products one is a regular size and it is in uh, viva glam five and it's almost like that sugar maple color to me but it's a little lighter and a, a little deluxe size that i picked up i remember picking picking this up in nordstrom just so that i can get up get out of the parking garage without having to pay i picked this up so, and um, it's in the color i think d for danger yes by mac so that's funny that I picked that up just to get out of the parking lot. And I also am going to add this um, Black Radiance Perfect Tone HD Lip Sculpture and it is in the color, you know, I don't know the name of this one, Melanin Princess. So yeah, it has a lot of melanin. 
to brown. And let's see if we can fit that in the middle here. This will be a, a neutral for me. It's right here. So I'm adding that. And let's see, is there anything else? So that's my, I believe that's it for shopping my stash for January. Those are the items I'm adding. Because I've left, I carried over the MAC palette and I want to now roll right into my 20 in 2020 project pan. So let's get going with that. I am going to use for eyeshadow primer, I'm going to continue using the Smashbox 24 hour because I'm almost done with this. This is a photo finish. I think I have about this much. And I'm going to add the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer because it's just down to here to that T. So I think I will um, be right into this before long. So I'll finish using that before I roll into the Ulta Beauty. For face primers, I'm going to continue with the Laura Geller Spackle Treatment. It's a primer that I can use now in the colder months. So I want to see if I can finish that up. But I am going to add one that I don't care too much for because the weather, it's good for, to use at this time of the year. It is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So I'm going to add that and try to finish that up this year. It may get hard when it gets warmer, so I may not be able to use it. For face powders, I've been using this broken palette here. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Fail Sheer Boost. And I have it in tan to dark. I really messed this up. I dropped it and I've hit pan on it, but I do want to finish it. So this is in tan to dark. It's actually a finishing powder, but I've been using it to lay down my, um, as I put on my spackle, my um, primer, I lay down this powder on top of that to help diminish the pores. So I've been using it that way. Then when that's done, I'm being optimistic here. When that's done, I will move into the um, Jane Iredell Mink powder. It's a loose powder. It's a um, mineral based powder, but it's not just that. I also have in here some of the, um, what do I have in here? I have some of the black opal in 04 dark and it's a finishing powder, but I'll move into that once the other one is finished. So those are going there. For eyeshadow palettes, as you saw, I left in the, the MAC warm palette. I definitely want to continue working with this. So yeah, I cannot put this down. So it's staying in and I want to hit pan in that. And I want to add a old palette, one of the first palettes I bought. I love the packaging probably more than I love the formula of the eyeshadow, but I love the colors of this eyeshadow. It was a set. It's still a Trust in Love gift set. It, had, it has 12 colors that are very pretty. That blue is gorgeous. That purple is gorgeous. Look at that coppery tone. I mean, you could do a lot with this palette, but it's a little dusty. But it came, it's a rich matte. It's pearl and shimmer shadows. It came with a mascara and it came with a lip glaze or gloss that was an apricot. So I thought to use, what did I want to pull for that? Since I had that apricot that's been long gone, um, I pulled the Tokyo, Tokyo Milk, um, kind of like a lip gloss just to use with this palette. In addition, I thought a lot about this palette, y'all. In addition to that, I pulled the Bobbi Brown, no, I didn't, I pulled the Elf. I pulled the Elf Eyeliner and Shadow Stick, and I pulled this because on this end is the shadow and it is in purple and I thought it would pick up and motivate me to really get through this palette and use this purple here or this color here, this little uh, light pink color or this color. I thought that it would pair well with that. And also on the other end is a, it's an eyeliner and the eyeliner is in plum. So again, I thought that the plum would work well with these colors here. So that's going to make me use this palette up and get it gone or panned for 2020. And I want to hold on to this package when it's done because I just, I, I just love this packaging. So I'm a sucker for a good packaging. 
I love that. So um, next we're moving into the two shadows that, uh, oh, a single shadow. I have a Lang, what is this one? No, this is a Lancome, yes. Single shadow that I use quite a bit and for some reason I stopped. I just love that packaging on this too. Look how that slides open. So cool. It's the Color Design Macchicino by um, Lancome and I use this as a transition shade. So I wanna get back to using that and finish it up, get it out of my collection because you know it's, it's almost there, it can be done. And um, let's see, next I had two Bobbi Browns here that I love these brown, Bobbi Brown pencils and I don't know why I stopped using them. I really use them for work. I have about six of them. And why I bought them is because they don't budge. You put these on and they stay all day. And also, I like Bobbi Brown's philosophy. She thinks that makeup should be quick and natural and that you should embrace yourself, not try to um, bring out or make another face, but just to bring out or embrace who you are through makeup. So I really enjoyed using these and I'm gonna get back to them and finish at least two of them. This one is the, it's a long wear cream shadow stick and this one is in golden bronze. I like that one a lot, so I know I will use it. And the other one is in Midnight, which is a black. Sometimes I think it's a blue-black, but yeah, it's a it's a black that almost looks blue, I think. So it's a matte one, so I'm looking forward to using that too. And um, so I've got my work cut out for me here. Um, so next I have a found, my foundations, and as you know, I was using the ABH uh, stick foundation and it's not quite my color when I look down at my neck But I had it on today and I have it on today in my video, but I don't have much to use So I'm gonna finish it up while the weather permits. I Love using this in the colder months, so I'm gonna finish this up and I may go back in once that is done for a shade that matches my neck but the other foundation for when it's finished is the Tarte Amazonian excuse me the Tarte Amazonian um, clay it's a 12 hour full coverage foundation with SPF of 15 sunscreen and it was it like, I think it was in an ipsy bag or something it's a deluxe size and I have it in deep honey so that will be my other foundation and then next I'll be moving into highlighters and you know two of my highlighters are right here in this MAC palette or a blush, so one blush, one blush here and the highlighter is here. So I'm counting these as separate products from the shadows. So this will count as a blush and this one will count as a highlighter. So let's give them a swatch. There is my highlighter and here is one of my blushes. And that one doesn't show up too much on me but I'm going to use it anyhow. It'll be perfect for work, which it has been. And then I am going to add the YBS, YBF uh, concealer, and I bought this from QVC a while back, and so I wanna revisit it and give it some love because I think I can hit pan on this. I can highlight with this, contour with this, and uh, that's just what it is, is to brighten, hide, and uh, conceal. So um, it's a cream, so I may not get past the winter with this or the spring, but I'm gonna give it a shot may not finish it. I may have to move into a powder, but so be it. And I have it in medium dark. And so the other highlighter I have is the Natasha Glow. So I've had this a while and it needs some love because, you know, it's it really does. I've had it and it's starting to look kind of freaky. So I think I need to use it up. I have it in, I think it is 03 Dark. And the thing about this, it's not just a highlighter, it's also a, a, a body shimmer. So I think I should be able to get some use out of this when I'm going out to put it on my shoulders or whatever. And then the last product I believe that I have here is the a blush and the other blush and it's by NYX. It is the Sweet Cheeks Matte and I have it in Bang Bang and I don't know why, but I think I pulled this because it's a neutral and I feel like when this isn't enough for me for work or on neutral days, I can pull this. So there you have it, my 20 project pans for 2020, plus my Shop My Stash for January. Thank you for watching. If there's anything that I've added in my Shop My Stash that you have some thoughts about, 
meet me down in the comments. Tell me about it. If there's anything in my pan 20 for 2020, um, yeah, talk to me about it down in the comments. What are you including in your pan 20 for 2020 if you're doing that? Um, yeah, I'm so happy to be moving forward, getting some products out of here, using up some oldies, but sort of goodies. Also to just uh, move into some new products, I guess, because, you know, I was in a rut. I did not pull anything out of my new, I'm using this train case from, um, from Ipsy, and I didn't pull anything out of here yet. Um, we'll just save these things for another time. So um, that's where I'm keep. This is where I'm keeping my new products. But anyway, remember to subscribe if you like what you see here. To like below if you like what you see here, and uh, always comment below. I love to talk with you, but uh, down in the comments. Remember, a smile is your best accessory. Have a great day, and I'll see you back next week. So long.